After transgender and transracial, we got transabled. Yeah, this one's really messed up. Physically healthy people who feel they should have been born disabled. A man in Great Britain cut off his arm because he felt like an amputee. A woman in North Carolina poured drain cleaner in her eyes because she felt blind. Transgender, transracial, transabled. Guess what's next? A grown man posting an ad on Craigslist wanting a nanny because he identifies as a baby. You can't make this stuff up. Ridiculous? Perhaps, but who's to say anymore if that's how he feels? If a man can be a woman because he feels like one, if a white person can be a black person because she feels like one, if a healthy person can mutilate herself because she feels disabled, if a grown man can be a baby because he feels infantiled, where does this end? Can a child be an adult because she feels like a grown-up? Can a teenager buy alcohol because he identifies as over 21 years of age? Can a grown man attend kindergarten because he identifies as a six-year-old girl? Can a child spend the day at doggy daycare instead of school because the child feels like a canine? If not, why not? If a kid can be transgender because he feels like a girl, who are we to tell a child he must attend school or obey his parents or refuse him a beer when he orders one? You can't have it both ways. If children have a right to parents providing for them and a man identifies as a child because he feels he is a child trapped in an adult body, and if we're playing by these twisted, disordered, ridiculous rules where illusion and emotions trump objective truth, aren't we violating his rights by refusing him the love and care and financial support every child deserves? Just something for liberals to think about before they push the boundaries of identity politics past the point of no return. When you sacrifice objectivity and reality, like transgender, transracial, transabled, transspecies, transaged, you get cultural absurdity and we probably